past decade, we have been reinforcing and celebrating and investing in Hunter's role as the public college of the arts. And at Hunter, we have an extraordinary faculty in film, in art, in dance, in music, in writing. And tonight, we celebrate one of the best. We often talk in our film department about making and producing art, incredible films. But we can make art, but who helps us understand this art? Who understand, helps us understand the value and the history and the true impact of film with a great film scholar? And I know of no greater film scholar than the professor we honor tonight, Joel McElhaney, who has been teaching in Hunter's Department of Film and Media for over 20 years. Joe, I think we, we started together, and I'm so proud to have known you. Joe's breadth of knowledge is just really incredible. He teaches courses on camera movement, cinematic space, film acting, American musical film history, as well as what he's particularly known for, the work of, of America and the world's top directors. I mean, seriously, who wouldn't want to take a course devoted to analyzing Martin Scorsese's The Age of Innocence? Joe is a prolific writer since joining Hunter. He's written three books and two edited collections, including really world-known volumes on Vincent Minnelli and Fritz Lang. Needless to say, taking on two giant figures such as Lang and Minnelli implies a wide and deep knowledge of film history, from Hollywood cinema, cinema to musicals to silent cinema, as well as cinematic culture and post-war politics. He's written book chapters on the best and the brightest of all the international and American directors. And he's done uh, collections where his introductions pull together the scholarship of others and enhance it by his own essays. His essays on Vincent Minnelli was cited as a model of close analysis in David Wardwell and Kristen Thompson's film art, which is a central textbook on film introductory film taught in courses across America. He's a frequent spe speaker on cinematic um, conversations and panels all over the world, most recently in Paris at the Centre Pompidou. Because of his great understanding of cinema, how he makes it come alive, it's not a surprise that Joe is incredibly popular with not just our freshmen, and I don't know if I'm so happy about this, Joe, but our senior audience. Um, <laughs> so, um, Joe, if you, as any of you know, when senior auditors want to get in their class, it's very dangerous to be in their way. And they want to be in those classes. But they did have great uh, awards recently, about a decade ago. They banded together to help us restore one of the great screening rooms at Hunter because they wanted to enjoy Joe's classes so much. So Joe, for your freshmen, sophomores, and your senior auditors, for the incredible world of scholarship in film history and film studies that you have influenced, of the young minds that you have then sent on to PhD programs from Hunter. For all you do for Hunter College, it is an incredible honor tonight to celebrate today with you and to so with you this uh, award for excellence in scholarship for your work in film criticism. Congratulations. My uh, regular students refer to my senior auditors once as cult. <laughs> <laughs> and they sort of stuck ever since. President Brad just described is right. They can be a ferocious bunch uh, when they feel like it. Um, when President Brad called me to tell me I'd received this award, I could not have been more surprised. Um, I had completely, I would honestly completely forgotten that my name had been submitted for consideration. Um, I suppose I erased it from my memory. <laughs> I didn't think I would get the award, um, but here I stand. Um, and in relation to that, uh, my thanks go uh, to 
my colleague in the Department of Public Media Studies, Ivone Maguli, is sitting in the front row mm -hmm. uh, right now. Um, Ivone submitted my name for consideration. Uh, she uh, did all the paperwork. Uh, <laughs> she wrote the justification and so on. Um, so I am standing here because of Ivone's intervention. <laughs> She knows me well enough to know that I would probably unla be unlikely to put myself forward in quite this way. Um, I cannot think of um, a more generous colleague than uh, anybody ever believes. Oh and and uh, she's just been the central figure for me in so many ways. Um, now, I have several people to thank. I'd like to thank the Hunter College Foundation. President Rabb, certainly, um, and not only for this award for President Rabb, but also for her support uh, of the Department of Public Media Studies for over two decades now. Um, I love what I do for a living. I love writing about the cinema. I love teaching the cinema. And I know that not everyone can say they love their job. <laughs> so I feel uh, particularly blessed in relation, in relation to having a job that I love this much. Um, but I would not have um, been able to do this without uh, the support, substantial support over the last 34 years of uh, someone who was there for me uh, financially for the early years and morally for all of those years. And without that support, uh, I would not have been able to do all the things I've done and would not certainly be standing here tonight. So my final thanks, my ultimate thanks, go to Steve Barnes, who's sitting in the front row. Um, and uh, <laughs> this is mine. Uh, <laughs> 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 what one one zero? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks,